Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about knits. All right my dears, today we have a very exciting announcement and a small change to the channel here. We are still going to be focusing primarily on sewing patterns, vintage patterns, and costumes. However, this year I did want to go ahead and add a beautiful knit to the mix. Now, I was inspired to do this after I did the video for this particular knit vest, which I pulled the inspiration for the top pattern here from the Shetland Project by Susan Crawford. And I got a lot of great feedback on that video. I got independent messages saying, hey, I love knitting, I love vintage clothes, and I would love to see some vintage knits. Now, at the time that I received those, I wasn't feeling quite prepared to get behind a knitting project here on the channel. However, I am feeling like this year is a wonderful year to get going on a new project. And so for this year, we will be doing a knit along. Once a month, we will be going over a small part of how to knit a beautiful vintage cardigan. With each video progressing slightly in the knit itself, teaching different ways, different techniques in order to get a completed garment for yourself. I will be doing trimmed with roses. Now, a few weeks ago on the community portion of this channel, we had a poll. I put up two different knit jumpers or cardigans here, and this was the one that won the, the poll. Most people voted for it, and so that's the cardigan I will be making on the channel. If you would like to make this cardigan with me, you can head on over to Susan Crawford at Vintage Knits and pick up the pattern from her website. It is part of A Stitch in Time, Volume 2. You can also pick up the individual pattern on Ravelry at Susan Crawford's Ravelry store. This book, A Stitch in Time, Volume 2, is actually filled with tons and tons of beautiful knit patterns that Susan Crawford has gone out of her way to revamp for the new knitter. So these are all historic patterns. They're all vintage patterns. In the book, she actually shows the original sections from where they were originally published. It has the date that they were published and further information, as you can see here, from the original publication. But what she's done is she's gone through and found those patterns and then she has made sure that they test knit beautifully and that they are sized up accordingly. And she talks all about that in the front of the book as well, what different changes needed to be made, etc. She also finds exactly what types of yarn would be needed in order to accomplish the same look, the same feel that this garment would have had when it was originally knit. And she gives those suggestions at the top for what materials you will need. As a result, I'm extremely excited. I have seen many of these older knit patterns on Ravelry throughout the years, and I must admit I've been very intimidated by them, simply because certain things have changed throughout the years, and I've never been very confident about doing a beautiful jumper or cardigan in a jumper weight yarn, which is a much smaller weight yarn. Now, when I did this particular vest, I did use an Aran weight or a heavier kind of chunkier weight yarn. And for the most part, that is what I have knit up larger garments with in the past. So this will be a new venture for me, really tackling a jumper with a very fine yarn and going through all of those techniques and learning them myself and going along with you all. Now, because I have knit sweaters in the past, I feel confident this is definitely something I can tackle, but I will definitely be interested to learn more as I go. Each week as we meet back up to check back in on our projects together, I will take the time to answer any questions that may have come up in the previous video and to show the next steps in knitting through this beautiful garment. 
If you would like to knit along, but this particular jumper isn't for you, please feel free to pick a pattern, gather up your supplies, and meet back here once a month to knit along anyway. Not only will I be showing you the progress I'm making on the sweater, show tips and tricks based on where we are at with knitting, but I will hopefully have some wonderful guests to come in and speak or some beautiful scenery and photos to show. My sister and my sister-in-law have both agreed to join me on this venture and this knit along. And depending on how confident they might feel behind the screen, we may even get a chance to meet with them and get some wonderful tips from them on knitting as well. My eldest sister currently lives in the UK and she has done many knitting courses and done wool week there and she has a lot of wonderful information so I'm excited to learn from her as I go as well. Now knitting this sweater, this is a 1950s pattern, however a lot of what I'm drawing inspiration from is the 1940s. Knitting in the United States and knitting in the United Kingdom became extremely popular in the 1940s. It had of course been very, very popular prior to that, but during the war effort, both the United Kingdom and the United States really pushed home knitters to get their needles out, to get their wool out and knit. Not only knit for those on the home front, but knit for the war effort. In fact, in the UK, they had a slogan that said, knit your bit, because whether you were on the home front or the war front, they wanted you to be contributing. Here in the United States, Eleanor Roosevelt got behind and she also pushed home knitters to knit things for those in the war. She even carried around her large tote bag full of knitting and she was affectionately called Knitter in Chief, which is pretty darn cute if you ask me. So I am excited to learn a little bit more about knitting history in both the United Kingdom and the United States. I'm excited to get started on this project and I'm excited to walk through it with you. Now the first video I would like to do for this project will be at the end of this month. I would like to maybe aim for the last week of each month to have a video up. For this pattern, it does recommend Shetland wool um, from Jameson and Smith and I've chosen to go ahead and go full out, do this pattern exactly as it is written. And so I have ordered the wool, the jumper weight wool from Jameson and Smith. Now there are some strikes going on in the United Kingdom from what I understand and the Royal Mail is moving a little bit slower. So I have not received the wool yet, but I am hoping to receive it here in the next week or two as I did order it a couple weeks ago. And that way we can get started at the end of this month. For our very first video, we'll be talking cast on and we'll be talking rib stitching for the bottom of our beautiful sweaters. So if you would like to knit along, gather up your supplies, pick your pattern, and meet me back here at the end of the month. If you like knitting, if you like vintage patterns, if you like sewing and costuming, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you would like to be along for the adventure of our knit along this year, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. I can't wait to get started on this project with you all. Thank you guys. Bye.